Yes, indeed. I guess I'm back with another ship. <laughs> yeah. And here we are, and this is the last ship in tonight's review, so we're going to be checking out Dalmont's beautiful, what's his name? SFW Parabellum. SFW Parabellum. And it features some striking lines with impressive use of wedging. Come on, my friend, tell me all about it. All right, so the last fighter I made didn't have an interior, which meant I had to make one with an interior. Um, I also wanted to take a page out of Raven's book and pull off something with Split Hull. And something also that had a little bit more of uh, almost a Gundam look with the uh, wingy bits in the back. Wingy bits! I love them. The wingy bits are impressive. The wingy bits are strong. Much stronger. The wingy bit game is strong. <laughs> Hey, wingy nice. bits will matter. Nice. Only in that they're made out of whole blocks, and that'll add to your HP. <laughs> and I've reset the faction for you, and the door is open. Oh, right, I'm going to come in that way. Okay. Hup. 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 Oh, God. Where's the airlock? Help, help. There we go, good. Yes. Welcome aboard. Woohoo. Oh, and it looks like I'm previewing uh, Calberry's skin still. Hmm. Yeah. My head, my, my, although my neck's broken at the moment. Do I get a helmet? I like helmets. Oddly, I don't see you in a skin. Really? Or myself, for that matter. There we go. Fixed helmet stuck bug. I figured out how to fix it, by the way. If you press enter, click enter, he'll put his helmet on even if it's stuck. You know, like enter the chat, click the mouse, enter the chat. Right, look, see it? Look, I'm bugging. Ah. But if I click enter, click enter, it takes it off. Right? So his head is a little broken there. It is a little broken, yeah. It's sticking out a little bit. Indeed. I'm, I'm just curious as to why I don't see... The skin. It's probably... My the... skin. Oh, um, yeah. Something to do with skins. Sometimes they don't update. I don't know what that's about. I probably have to delete, delete your skin from the Matrix, and then it will re-upload. Fun. Yep. Fun times. But we could handle that some other time. Exactly. So let's have a look at this. Beautiful, beautiful use of plants. <laughs> and what do you know about chairs? Look at this chair. I know that uh, the new Tetris make awesome parts for chairs. I see that. Oh. Nice. Wait for that logic and we won't be pushing this. Just oh, like... yeah. Logic. There'll actually be. Uh, actually, this is uh, going to be the first ship that gets retrofitted for the smart ship program. It's lo logical, Captain. Totally logical. Extra special logical. Metalogical. Metalogical. <laughs> yes, I've successfully managed to drop back into the influence of my ship. Well done. It's a very nice and interior. So Thank you. Uh, for some basic stats, she's 76 meters long, 17 meters high, and 59 wide, so not all that big. Uh, power is 63,000 with 126,000 regen. 2,600 thrust, so it's uh, just better than a 2 to 1 thrust mass. 103,000 shields with 4,000 a second regen, and a grand total of almost 12,000 DPS, so 11.6. It's not bad for something this size. Not bad at all. Yep, actually does a little bit more DPS than the Taiga, and it's a little bit shorter, but it uh, makes up for it in width. Beautiful. Right, well, that'll be the last ship tonight, so I think I'm going to run the Mario video for you guys. So, um, thanks ever so much, Dalmont, for bringing those ships along to the review tonight, as always. Anytime. And uh, thanks to everybody watching tonight. And uh, thanks to everybody who brought ship down. And we'll be back this time from midnight every week. So that will be next Wednesday, guys.